So far, we've seen how to create a form model using the form group and form control classes. But as you can see, creating multiple form control instances manually can become very repetitive. To avoid this, Angular provides the form builder service, which in turn provides methods to handle generating form controls. We will still be creating instances of form control just like how we are doing right now, but with much lesser code. So in this video, let's refactor our code and see how to utilize the form builder service to create a form model. Now I mentioned that form builder is a service. So the first step is to import the service and inject it in the constructor. So instead of form group and form control, we now import form builder. And then in the constructor, let's inject it. private fb of type form builder. The second step is to use this instance of form builder service to generate our form controls. So let me comment out the existing form model and let's create one using the form builder service. Registration form group is equal to this dot fb dot group. So to create a form group, we call the group method. The group method takes in an object with the different form controls as keys. So for the first key, we have username. And this time, the value is an array. The zeroth index value is the default value and we want the username to be Vishwas by default. Similarly, password and confirm password. Next, we have address. Now the address is another form group. So again, we need to call the group method on the form builder instance, this.fb.group. This in turn takes an object where again, the form controls are the keys. So object, and we have the form controls as keys, city, state, and postal code. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have the default value of Vishwas for the username field. And when I type in values for the other form controls, you can see at the top, the values are getting updated in the form model. So the form builder is nothing more than a simpler alternative to create form groups and form controls. And we will be sticking to this form builder way of creating form controls for the rest of the course. All right, so far we have seen how to create a form model, associate it with the form HTML, set default values, and also set form control values programmatically. Next, let's take a look at validation in reactive forms. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.